Hi, my name is Benjamin Frotcham. I'm going to be showing you the experiment three procedure. Uh, so first, uh, just so you know, we're starting uh, on part two, and I've just completed step eight, which is the whole setup. Okay, let me show you what we have so far. So right here, I have my 50 milliliter Erlenmeyer flask with my stir bar in there, uh, and I have a clamp holding onto that flask. I also have my stir plate running and ready to go. I've also uh, set up my Sparklink air unit to my laptop. Um, as you can see, I'm going to be measuring pressure and temperature uh, on some of my trials. So, uh, so that's the setup so far. Uh, I'm going to do three sample trials for you today. I'm first going to start with a standard trial. Uh, so far I have six milliliters of water in here and I also have one milliliter hydrogen peroxide in my uh, my graduated cylinder cylinder here I have uh, about three milliliters of, of the catalase solution okay so we're gonna run this first trial and uh, see what kind of pressure readings we get okay so this is trial one I'm gonna start collecting data now okay and now uh, I need to add my catalase solution and then quickly after I'm going to put the rubber stopper in so we can start collecting pressure data. Okay, as you can see our pressure data is going up, it's rising. So that should be good. Essentially what we're looking for here when we start looking at our data is we're just looking for the first few uh, for the first few uh, data points here because uh, that's going to show the rate of the reaction. Okay, that's the end of trial one. Okay, so this is our second trial that we're going to do. Um, and let's see, so the last trial we did three milliliters of our catalase, we did one milliliter of our hydrogen peroxide, and we did six milliliters of water. This trial, we're going to increase the concentration of our substrate, our hydrogen peroxide. We're going to do three milliliters of the catalase, three milliliters of the hydrogen peroxide, and then four milliliters of our water. So we'll see what kind of results we get from that. Same as before, I've got the water and the hydrogen peroxide in here ready to go, and uh, I'm going to just push start. As you can see, we're already quite a bit past where we were before with our pressure. Sometimes it's uh, Sometimes the stopper pops off at this point, so let's see how far we get. Okay, so this is our last trial. This is going to be one of our temperature trials. So um, I'm doing the same volumes as the first trial, where we're doing three milliliters of catalase, one milliliter of hydrogen peroxide, and uh, six milliliters of water. Uh, instead, this time we have our Erlenmeyer flask sitting in a, uh, a hot tub or a hot bath, uh, it's at about 40 degrees Celsius. So we're going to see how that affects the rate of the reaction. Okay, so let's start.
so that was it for our three trials. Um, any other trials that we would have conducted past that point uh, would have just been patterned just like that one. So uh, stay put and uh, we will give you the data either in a separate file or at the end of the video.